tell once they come. All right, long time viewers uh, may remember that we had these IBC tanks down at the uh, at the bottom of the uh, uh, of the garden or just on the terrace just above and we moved them last year or I moved them up the hill behind the kitchen. They have been there ever since, but they were not without their problems uh, because one of the issues that I had was that they would never level out. Uh, I couldn't, couldn't for the life of me figure out why that was. One of the options that I found online and talking to some other people is to put them on top of each other so that they would uh, uh, be one, essentially one big tank uh, connected together. So uh, it's time to move them. We're going to move them to uh, the toilet, uh, the composting toilet, just uh, right beside it. While I was deconstructing the um, uh, the, the IBCs uh, or deconstructing the, the setup there, um, I figured out why they wouldn't level out, and I'll show you in uh, some B-roll uh, what it looks like and what the problem is. So these are the connections coming off of the T connector that I have here and uh, I didn't really push them backwards but this was completely in there so as you can tell once they connect it's completely shutting off the the, the purpose so the, the T so we figured that out but hey there are many reasons to move it so we're continuing the move um, but it, I, I'm, I'm really happy that I figured out why it wasn't working because it really drove me mad. Let's see if that works and if it will uh, end my issue with the, uh, these IBCs once and for all. <laughs> so now that the plastic had ripped, it also meant the return of all the green stuff in the tank so before putting everything back together i'll have to clean this up at least a bit but i'll try and see how much i can get out those crates are invaluable Do it again. After so the water is nice and green again, but most of it is at least loose now. And another aside here uh, these tanks. Whole 2,000 liters, 
uh, that lasts about a week if the garden is in full swing. I hear people using these for water storage. Um, yeah, that's great for our home use. Um, we one of those tanks lasts two weeks, uh, depending on how much we watch wash. Um, this is more to bring us pressure and to not have to turn on the pump in the mornings when the sun is still not on the, the panels. So this is this is essentially a battery, uh, a water battery pressure battery don't don't think that a couple even if you have 12 of these uh, it won't get you through this summer here if you have a decent sized garden um, it's just for pressure and and uh, like I said a battery I know there's still some here can't reach it with the broom just gonna leave it and let's see <laughs> People love seeing dirty water, apparently. So here we go. I say that. It's another reason why we have extra taps on these, because the taps, these plastic taps really suck. Ja. En we zitten hem in het midden, dan kunnen we hem weer omheen slaan en kijken hoe ver we komen. Want ja, ik, ik weet niet of dit nog 4 meter is. Misschien kan jij, kan jij even duwen. Dan til ik hem hier op. Aan de onderkant. Gewoon knippen. Kijk nou. Ja, ik doe het verkeerd. Ik weet ook niet waarom je dit aan mij overlaat. Ja. Alles wordt beter met duct tape. Als je leven niet aan, aan elkaar vasthangt met duct tape, dan weet ik niet wat je doet. Ja, je krijgt hier ook geen sleutels van je land, maar je krijgt gewoon een rol duct tape. <laughs> This is now yours. Uh, je bent hem alleen kwijt. Ja. ja. <laughs> Oh hier. Oh, je had hem ergens neergelegd. Ja, handig. Ik ben kwijt zo vaak. Hier. Oh. Ik moet met andere dingen gaan makkelijker.
Ja, aan mijn kant. Ja. Ik ga hem even Dat is het. Dit is nog de eerste try. Waarom moet het niet? Gedaan Bo, dank je voor je hulp. Heb jij een mooie stok? Right there. Right now. Nou, dan moet ik even wat tools hebben. En dan uh, moet deze gaat recht omhoog. Ja. Yeah. Want hier komt dan nog een T. Ja. Van een T en een elboog. En die moet dan hier. Even kijken of we nog een T hebben. Mhm. Mm Uh, it's the next morning. Of course, we needed to stop yesterday after putting uh, the second IBC on top uh, because all the connecting bits uh, that I had to connect these together. Yeah, well, the distances are different now because it's no longer side to side. And uh, so I had to, well, change things up anyway. So I thought let's improve on things as well. Um, I, for instance, really hate these uh, tap thingies. Um, they tend to leak um, because there are multiple moving parts that you need to tie down and uh, yeah, and then you start using them and you move a little bit and it starts leaking again. Um, so I, I went to my uh, my favorite. Oh, my favorite shop in uh, Castello Branco, which is uh, Rega Centro. It kind of went crazy and bought all kinds of connectors uh, that I think I might need. Uh, and uh, I already have a box full of connectors, but they are, of course, the wrong size or they don't really fit uh, in this uh, setup. So, um, yeah, I just bought things new and um, used those. and. Maybe we'll make some sort of art piece in the future of all the connecting bits that I have left over. Who knows? Um, so uh, first I uh, want to explain what I'm trying to do here and why I bought all these parts. Uh, I want to uh, put a similar tap like that one on top down here. So we have the same thing. Uh, not for aesthetics but because that functions much better. And um, because they are now on top of each other 
uh, and we don't want this one to have like a air bubble in there or get pressurized because of the, the, the water coming in. Uh, it won't it won't fill up if you put on the uh, the cap, and if you don't put on the cap, you only be able to fill up the bottom uh, uh, IBC. So at some point, I'll need to make some sort of hose that goes to the top of the other one, so that the level of the water can actually be this level, and it also will function as a uh, an indicator of the level so uh, the whole bit up there you can no longer see inside so uh, let's get the inside on the outside uh, and I'll use this thing and uh, I will try to uh, put this thing well that's my first problem I thought I could use this a little tiny cap but luckily we have two so I'll drill a hole in here, put this one in there, and this one has like a rubber gasket in there, and you can tie it down and uh, it will no longer leak. It's the same thing that we actually used on these caps over there. Um, they work really well and uh, it, they don't leak, as far as I know. Yeah, they are already all, always really helpful at the Vega Centro uh, in getting what you want. Um, they have everything. It's so amazing. I love those uh, kind of shops where you can just go crazy and buy everything you need in one place. Okay, um, I'll just get started. It's a puzzle. I don't know if it will work. I might have to go back. That's not necessarily a bad thing, I don't think. It's important to measure once and then cut twice. bottom end uh, there's a, a rubber ring that pushes against the uh, against the, the oh yeah push against okay. this so this makes it watertight and if it isn't you can fill this all up with silicone if you want um, just to be sure but we're gonna try it like this and then I have a corner piece that goes on top of here and then a friction fit thing that goes on top of there. And then we have a hose clamp and we clamp that hose down and then lead it with some tie ribs up on the front of it. Oh shit.
Is this the easiest way? Yes. <laughs> Okay, onto the in pipe. We need to make another cut so that we can put a hose here that can fill up these tanks. Yeah, loads of brambles here, which is great for lovely. watching the chickens. Zo zit hij beter, denk ik. Yeah. Everything is hooked up. Um, we don't know if it will leak or not. That's what we're going to find out now. So, um, what we need to do is to get some water in there. And uh, I have one of those caps for the IBCs that had like an inner cap. Um, and I will just put this one on and put the hose in. Um, hopefully it fits. It will fit. I tested it already. And then we'll uh, put on the pump and see uh, where it leaks because there are probably some connections that I just put on and I should tighten a bit or whatever. We'll see. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. Where? Uh, by Decan. Oh, by Decan. Found the first leak. Oh, and this must also be open. So, and that is it. And they're under. This one leaks. This one definitely leaks. And the, I can't tell with the rest because this one leaks. Uh, this one is also not straight on. Yeah. Um, okay, maybe if you close that one, I can fix this one. And then we can go back. Let's look for the under the lighting. The top one is full. <laughs> We're still working on the connection. <laughs> well, Martin is. We moeten we 
eigenlijk even een klein balletje erin doen met een rode kleur. Ja. Zodat je het goed kan zien. Nou, ik zie geen nieuw water komen. Misschien nog even tegen die. Oké, okay, we're down at the bottom. There's the tap with a little hose on there, just to make it easier to fill up buckets. Oh, usually it is easier. And let's see if the new setup makes for better pressure. Not that we needed it, but. Oh, there's still some bubbles, so air bubbles that need to get out. This, this is not necessarily much better, but it will fill a bucket pretty quickly. Let's see if it helps if we wait a bit. Meanwhile, the bees are enjoying the water. in our future outside bathtub that, yeah, still gets pushed down the priority list. <laughs> okay, uh, it's been a few days since uh, the last time um, we talked and uh, the, the tanks are not leaking at all. The pressure is much higher down in the garden, so if we would like to use sprinklers, which we won't, uh, but we could and uh, the tanks are no longer behind the kitchen so uh, there's a better space there there's no chance of the plastic uh, being blown away again or ripped open because of wind uh, which is nice because uh, during the summer we won't uh, have any green water to deal with um, so uh, all in all a major improvement and i hope that we won't have to do this again next year <laughs> but who knows? <laughs> uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next week. Bye.